Hello and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 commentary, casting, shoutcast, audio production, replay, audio, uh, component, uh, thing, yeah. Okay, so today we have, uh, Lucifer, who is the undead, spawning in the bottom right, against Reprisal, who is the human, and he is blue, spawning in the top left. Lucifer, of course, being yellow. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, everything is pretty good. It's, it's very, it's a very happy day when you get to watch Reprisal and Lucifer play each other. Lots of undead versus human games. I love to cast undead games. Lots of human games are, have been casted. I need to get some variety, but I was intending to. Can't really pass up on a Reprisal versus Lucifer game. And of course, again, as always, the uh, replay link will be in the description, so... If you want to watch this without my annoying voice, if you don't like it, uh, but if, well, if that's the case, I'm not really sure why you're here. You could always just mute it, or you could, you know, download the replay, or you could, uh, you know, learn to like it, because because it's pretty good, I think. You know, my voice. I think. Uh, anyway, back to the game. People distracting you with your insults. All right, so we have uh, Lucifer. I'm going ahead, and he's not doing Ted Fiends. He's doing a. Uh, he's doing the more. Slightly, I don't know why I just said traditional, but it's a pretty, it's a goal opening, somewhat, somewhat standard at this point in this matchup. Uh, a lot of times you do see the goal coming up here. I haven't actually seen many people bring a goal up here um, as much as I thought I would be. Uh, this is more of what you used to see with the acolyte coming up here and waiting right here. It's a little bit difficult. It's difficult to see this acolyte. So when the human comes over here to creep this with his archmage and these lovely militia. Uh, there's a chance that the uh, the acolyte won't be seen. Plus, it'll slow the militia down just a tiny, tiny tad bit because they won't be able to go through that way. Uh, it's a little bit risky. You might lose your acolyte, but ultimately, it's not really a big deal, is it? So, we have the uh, the DK coming. I, I believe we've seen in one of the games where the ghoul came in and stole the item, and the ghoul died, but the DK got the item. Uh, and he almost kept the ghoul alive, even. So I don't, I don't think, I think it might be a better option maybe to do that ghoul thing where you bring in, you know, you have the backpack research, you pick up the item with the ghoul and then you run it away, but I'm not sure. So either way, we're going to see some Archimate Rass. This is a pretty common, maybe more traditional way to play it in the early game is just to coil the Archimate, you know, do as much damage to the Archimate as you can. A lot of times you're, we've been seeing a lot more, you know, killing a couple of footmen or something. Always a good idea to kill uh, the peasants if you do get the chance to, but you know usually attack. you don't. Um, in this game, it didn't really look like there was any chance. They kind of ran away pretty quickly. We're seeing a pretty much straight tech from Reprisal. I'm assuming uh, Lucifer probably knows exactly what uh, Reprisal was intending to do, but um, I don't know because I, I haven't been watching enough Reprisal lately to really be able to say what his current you know style is. So there's that. You know, maybe Lucifer knows, maybe he doesn't. But he does, he does goes ahead and he does scout it and he says, okay, you know what, you're teching, that's, that's good information to know. And obviously well, Lucifer is teching as well. However, however, very interesting is that uh, Reprisal has a faster tech than Lucifer, which is pretty uncommon. He actually went ahead and threw down a second ziggurat. You normally don't see that. And he went, oh, he went ahead and got this early uh, Crypt Fiend. I'm assuming then what maybe happened was Reprisal had sent a scout down here and saw that that was what was going on. And instead of deciding to try to creep out an Expo with some Fiend Harass, he would just go for a straight tech. I don't quite know because I didn't quite catch it, but uh, either way, it works out pretty well. And actually, I thought that was a Lumber Mill. It's a Blacksmith going up, so we're going to be seeing Rifles. Pretty much what you would expect, though, I guess, from a tech is you like to see the Rifles and the Casters uh, up into Knights and such. But... That's that. Uh, it looks to me like Reprisal's probably not going to try to go for harass here. He's probably just going to try to creep out something. Uh, maybe this green, maybe this, maybe something in this orange. It's just going to depend on how long it takes Lucifer to find them. You know, so and th I think this might be a, just a scout footman going about. I think it's the one that killed the acolyte up here. Um, so who knows? Yeah, it looks like he's just going to go for this. If he can get level three, that would be really good. One of the things humans need to do when they uh, when they go in this sort of tech with rifles build. Is try to uh, try to stay kind of anonymous. Try to creep out without your opponent really finding you. Getting levels, getting items as you go. And as you can see, he's not going to bother with trying to finish the creep off. He got the item, got the big creep, and he's been there for quite some time. So he's like, you know, I don't want to get caught. I'm just going to run away. Or maybe you know, maybe that's not exactly what he was thinking. But that's what he did. So uh, now he's just running away. 
Which, um, I think he probably could have finished that off, but if he had of, uh, you know, Lucifer would have definitely been coming in right there, and he probably would have lost a footman or something, so he probably wouldn't want that. And as you can see, he might lose the footman anyway, just because, uh, that's just how it kind of looks like it's going to work out, and that, yet that footman's definitely going to go down. Another footman is taking quite a bit of damage from those fiends, so it might die as well to a coil or something. Uh, we'll see. It's going to be... They're both very close. I think he could probably just stand to, uh... Actually, it looks like that, that 17 HP Fulman is going to get away, and so is the other Fulman. So neither Fulman dies. The threat of the Naga with the uh, cold arrows, I am certain, is probably what caused Lucifer to say, ah, I'm not going to chase that too much farther. So we do have this... It's a very interesting push that we're going to be seeing. It looks like a push that we're going to be seeing here is with the Naga, and the rifles, the rifles are getting their long-range rifle thing upgrade pretty quickly right on. Attack. It's quite an important uh, upgrade to have as in the human player. I mean, the human doesn't have an expert or anything. He's just kind of saying, you know, I think I might be able to do some damage here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and attack a little bit. I don't know how much we're going to see happen here. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever necessarily seen this before. We do see the Arcane Sanctum already is up, and we see a priest on the way out. So this is this could be quite interesting for, uh, for reprisal because if he's doing this, he's I, I don't know how much resources he's going to have to really dump into uh, putting up an expo. I'm not sure that's what his goal is right now because he does have a Naga second. Usually when you have a Naga second, you're trying to uh, you're trying to do something very, um, what's it called, uh, push-oriented, I would say. And, of course, you know, forgetting Tome is very a hallmark of undead. undead. I don't know. I mean, uh, Warcraft 3 players. Not undead players. They all do it. Except maybe Orcs. I don't know if they do. They kind of they need that. But, um, yeah, the interesting thing, though, I do think about having the Naga here is that he basically fulfills the role of, uh, of a sorceress with his slow arrow. So I, I feel like this is definitely something he wants to do a lot of damage early on with. Maybe have map control early on. Because, I mean, he could, bring, he could have a sorceress out and, you know, could slow things. But instead he has a Naga and Priest. So I think it's an interesting thing. Uh, the, the Priest it would be good. It would be good. It'll depend on what he's doing, I think, to see to really be able to decide what he's going to do. Ah, it's a tower push, looks like. He's bringing in militia. He's got these priests. Okay, so that is definitely a very early aggressive, very very aggressive early strategy to play. And I understand, you know, you, why you'd want the Naga instead of having to try to rely on sources. You need to be able to pick off these units. As you can see, a, a rifle goes down to some coil and nova and super focus. So. We have a quite a big battle going on right here. As you can see, we have some just units dying all over the place. So the big, the important thing in this fight is going to be to see uh, does the human have after the end of this fight is the human going to have the ability to sit outside this undead's base? And it looks to me like it is because another fiend is going to go down, and that fiend is going to die even though it's got burrow because of the dust. So that's good for the human. The humans now have level three archmage, which means very soon we're going to see a level two uh, water elemental into play. Which is quite important, I imagine, for this push, um, because that's going to give you a lot of staying power to sit here. However, however, we do see that the undead is about to hit tier three, which means or for the lich. And when that happens, uh, it doesn't really matter what units the, the the human has if he doesn't have you know a lot of them. <laughs> like uh, they're going to be picked down very quickly. So you do see, and yeah, the only problem that the end that it's going to have right here is not being level 3 on his death knight. He's not really going to be able to keep these uh, units alive, which is one of the things we're seeing. He doesn't have a lot of mana. He's taking quite a bit of focus damage onto the death knight. So he's going to have to TP out, and that's not good because obviously you can't really TP out of your own base if that's all you got. So he's just having to move away. He just didn't want to die on the death knight. Uh, the Naga is level 2, but it's completely oom, um, so there's absolutely no uh, nukes coming off. He's, Lucifer's doing everything he can to drop that tower before it's up, and uh, it looks like it got up, so it is up, but he's still trying to kill it. He's, the Reprisal is doing his best to repair it, but it just wasn't enough, even with all those peasants repairing it. So we do see some more towers going up. He's got the shop so he can just buy them and place them up very quickly and start the upgrades. Uh, and he's going for arcane towers, not guard towers, because he knows that the guard towers will do, while they'll do some more damage, um, not really going to be nearly as important as making sure that the heroes are oom and the statues are oom. So, as well as the fact that they do quite a bit of damage against the skeletons, which are another big source of, uh, of a problem in this sort of a push for the human. So this is quite interesting. We're going to see the statue. It's going to drop. That's not good for the undead, but he does have that orb out. He does have the, uh, the a couple of fiends. I saw three fiends. A few fiends. Uh, one fiend is being burrowed. I don't think there's any more dust on the human. Uh, and that tower is taking damage, but he's going to have to cancel it. And it's going to probably fall, but he's repairing it as fast as he can. It may not fall. 
he's decided it's safe to start upgrading it again. Um, the human, the undead Lucifer here, he's running out of wood. He just doesn't have enough wood at this point, so he's kind of had because he's had to be using his ghouls to fight off. That Naga's taking quite a bit of damage, but it was able to uh, get, use an HP potion, and it's just fine now. The DK is still in a nefarious position with the fact that he doesn't have a lot of life. He has one healing potion, and um, doesn't really have the ability to really tank too much at this point. Uh, that arcane tower is almost finished. Lucifer's like, I really need to start focusing on this again. Reprisal, Reprisal has all of those uh, peasants just sitting there going, okay, you know what I need to do? I need to uh, be ready to defend it or repair this. He probably even has them on auto repair or something. Uh, we do see a very nice uh, double skeleton push at the same time. We got all those skeletons, all four of those skeletons up. He was, that was a very nice play to wait until he had four skeletons up to go ahead and try to focus on that scout tower. Because whenever you're focusing down that scout tower, your units are very vulnerable, and so it's a really smart play by Lucifer. We do see another statue beginning to be built, um, which he needs one of those out because he just doesn't have the healing that he needs right now to stay alive through this. Uh, this is quite a powerful push from Reprisal, however, I mean, Lucifer's holding pretty well. Uh, if he had a level 3 Death Knight, I think he would be in a very good position, but as it is, I think it's going to be quite interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, he's trying to get, to get level 3, he's going to get very close to it. Um, he can pick off some of these peasants right here, no problem. I think he's going to be able to, uh, but they didn't die. They didn't die. They, they walked away. He didn't want to chase them too very far. Uh, another tower is going up. Um, reprisal, I don't, it's interesting because a lot of times we'll see a human who will just go ahead and throw down several towers, but we're not really seeing that sort of play. He's gone ahead and retreated his peasants. He's like, you know what, okay, I've done what I needed to do. I've really hold, held off and I've got a lot of XP. Uh, he has 3-3 three, three versus 3-2. Three, the Death Knight has hit level 3. Um, so it's pretty good. Uh, it, it, he's definitely done a lot of damage with this push. You know, he's done quite a bit of building damage. Um, as to who came out on top of this, I think it might be pretty even, honestly. Um, I'm not entirely certain. I He definitely came very close to being able to win. Uh, I mean, Reprisal came very close to being able to win, I think, if he had managed to take down the Death Knight. Uh, so I think he, his goal here wasn't really to come out on even or on top. I think he just wanted to win the game right here. Um, that, but a Lucifer did put up quite an excellent display of defense. But we do have two towers on their way being constructed right now. They're both arcane towers. Uh, and there's still quite a few rifles just chilling out, um, doing a lot of damage. But we do have two statues out on play, so they're doing quite a bit of healing. So uh, one fiend goes down, and we do start to see more skeletons being popping up. Uh, uh, yeah. It, it's quite it's quite interesting. We're seeing lots of lots of focus taking on the Naga, but the Naga has done pretty good to just stay back and you know taking the healing where he needs it. The Death Knight was getting quite low, taking some focus. However, wasn't really in too much real danger. Um, the, the the human is definitely actually going to have to be taking an advantage right here because he's got quite a few rifles. The getting he's probably going to get one of those two towers up, and uh, even though he doesn't have peasants now. And uh, it's, we're seeing an abomination come out, which is what he definitely will need to be fighting off these pure uh, riflemen who have, an, who have not only the, the long range upgrade to give them 600 range, which is an insane amount, but they also have a, a weapons upgrade, so they're doing extra damage. We do see lots of fiends just dropping, and uh, Lucifer, however, does have quite a bit of mana on both of his, well, on his Death Knight. His Lich has enough mana for definitely one uh, Nova, however, it is taking some damage from that Arcane Tower, so it's losing mana quite quickly and now it doesn't have enough mana for even a Nova. So he's running back, he's lost quite a bit of mana, he's lost almost 70 mana, maybe more than that. Um, uh, that Arcane Tower does go down, the, the uh, Abomination is taking quite a bit of damage, however it gets coiled, but it's still quite slow, it's not really being able to do much because of that Naga. Uh, slowing it down its attack speed, slowing down its movement speed. A little bit of focus fire going on to that Archmage, uh, the, the Abomination dies and the Archmage gets a nice level to level 4. Uh, this is going quite intensely. As you can see, um, those summons have really been quite helpful, so having level 3 from the pretty much start of this push has been a big deal. Uh, if this art, if this crypt goes down, that's not going to be spelling good. That's going to be quite actually awful for uh, Lucifer because that's kind of his lifeline right now, getting those fiends out. And it looks like he's not going to be able to stop it. He's not repairing it. For some reason, he's repairing the main instead. I, I don't know what his, his plan there was or his thought process, but uh, he's got an abomination coming out, but that's really all he's got right now. Um, he, Trying to kill some things with some nukes and some focus, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rifles in play versus three fiends. And so even though this is an undead base and Lucifer's holding, it's just he's not really got a lot. And if he, he can't really afford to start losing any more of these fiends because this is it. These are the only fiends he's gonna have for the rest of the game until he can get a crypt off. 
Uh, he doesn't manage to pick off that rifle. It's kind of being microed in the back. A lot of damage is being done to the uh, to the Death Knight. In fact, he has to TP yet again. Another fiend goes down. This is looking really, really badly for uh, Lucifer. Uh, this could be the GG right here. I'm not sure. Um, and we do have actually the towers do actually happen to have the true sight now, so he won't even be able to burrow those remaining two. Uh, and he doesn't have access to his shop because his Death Knight's quite far away. So he's going to go ahead and focus fire, and he's going to coil. And the Death Knight is going to go down. The Death Knight goes down. That's really not good. Uh, I don't see how Lucifer can do anything in this game. Uh, it looks to me like he's going to lose. He's trying to focus down the Archmage, but the Archmage does have a healing potion and a teleport scroll. However, if he could force a teleport, that would be really good. But he just managed to force him to use the healing potion instead, and he's right by his shop, so he's not in too much of a uh, problem. Uh, the fiend almost dies, however, burrows just in time. The statue has been trapped back here by this aqua just standing there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We do see the death knight be coming out again. One of the uh, the the burrowed fiend has died. I'm not. I, I don't know if they had a. Maybe they could see it from that arcane tower. It's I, it's definitely feasible. Uh, the oh man, no, he put that scout tower down. That's how he did it. Um, okay, so he bought a scout tower from the shop and placed it down. And so Lucifer is going to go ahead and try to take that out. Uh, the main is taking quite a bit of damage, and he's trying to repair the uh, the statues as well as the main. Uh, I don't know. He's going to go ahead and pick off another rifleman with the Nova. Well placed. Uh, an acolyte goes down. However, he does have an extra, so it wasn't too big of a deal. I don't think. Actually, no. It looks like he lost two acolytes then. Uh, so now he's definitely down an acolyte, and he needs to make another one at some point. Uh, he's trying to take down yet another rifleman with his thing, and he does with his lich. He kills it. He picks off one more rifleman. Uh, the ri the human's down to three riflemen, and one of them's quite very ragged, actually. Lucifer doing an amazing job right here, holding this push off. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Reprisal just going for maybe the wrong targets or something, trying to kill these things. I think, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, Lucifer is definitely, definitely able to hold this back. He might be able to push this off. Uh, the Death Knight is almost back out, and if that happens, uh, that's going to be really, really important. He still has no army besides his heroes at this point, though. He doesn't have a crypt, and he can't really afford to make another abomination. Uh, he's down to three acolytes. He's rebuilding two of them. The Death Knight has revived, and he's basically just banking on these uh, these skeleton rods here, which he's got. And of course, one of the big issues that we're seeing here, actually, he's probably going to focus. He's focusing down the Archmage. The Archmage might be forced to TP, but instead, he gets a healing, healing potion off. Very, very uh, good. Very, very close. Very close to getting that uh, down. Um, he, he's repairing, he's back to repairing the main, but he just doesn't have enough acolytes on the, uh, on the gold mine at this point to be able to afford to repair and to be able to get units. So, I'm not sure quite what we're going to see. We're seeing lots of Dark Rituals, which is level 2 Dark Ritual. It's really good because he's been able to spam his Nova, but, uh, that rifle, the Arcane Tower has prevented the Death Knight from even being able to cast a coil there. So, I, I don't know, this is really, this is really getting intense. We see quite a few... He's just making as many acolytes as he can because the reprisal keeps killing the acolytes, and there's not a lot he can do about it. And if that black citadel goes down, there's absolutely no way Lucifer can win this game. It's getting quite close. There are an extra acolyte, one extra acolyte in play that he could go ahead and try to be repairing with, but he's definitely afraid of reprisal just walking in with that naga, cold slowing it and killing it. So he's definitely, definitely concerned about that. We do see an abomination coming out very soon, hopefully. Uh, but it can't come out soon enough, and it's got quite a ways to go, actually. That, that, that Black Citadel is getting very, very low. He's brought another Acolyte out on it, but he's going to have to do something else. He's went ahead and put his DK out there to get try to make that be tanked instead of tanking the, uh, the Black Citadel just to buy it some more time for it to be repaired. Uh, and he's at that shop, and he's not such a good place. It's a little bit dangerous for that Death Knight because the Acolytes are currently blocking him from walking behind me behind the Black Citadel. However, more units are dying, uh, and the Lich is just, this This is insane. There's so much going on right now. Uh, the, the Abomination has gotten back out, but the Death Knight really can't walk out there because of these Acolytes. He can't really stop repairing either. Uh, so we do see uh, four Acolytes are on the gold mine. However, it looks like Reprisal is probably going to be running out of gold very soon. It's been quite an in, in, insane, intensely insane uh, defense Lucifer's really been operating on basically no units this whole game ever since that crit dropped. And he's just really trying to do his best to keep this Black Citadel alive. He can't really afford to keep making units, he can't, uh, or at least Acolytes. At level 3, the coil just isn't enough to really make much of a difference for that Abomination's life. So, another Acolyte goes down and he's just bringing these guys in. He's saying, you know, I'm going to just come in here and kill those Acolytes. He's like, I need to get this Black Citadel down. Uh, he, but Lucifer just keeps going for the heroes. It looks like he might be able to pick off yet another rifle. Uh, he barely picks off another rifle as it walked away just out of range. 
uh, and he's going for another one. The new herbs that he has are very important. His two new herbs plus the Black Citadel, and he's just using them to devastating effect to keep picking these units off. It's the only way he's going to be able to stand a chance, because that is a lot of damage. And it looks like one more is going to get picked off. It does with a Nova, and there's two priests that are very low. If he gets both of those priests down, that would be really good. But he doesn't go for him instead. He just keeps he goes for the water element, so it's quite a bit of damage. And he gets, he gets at least experience from the, um, the water element, element, elementals. He does have one statue that's just recharging his mana battery back there in the back. So, I, this is crazy. Um, the Death Knight at, has enough mana for a, a coil. And the Nova, we do have enough more mana for a coil Nova, so we might see some little bit of action. Maybe another rifle will drop or something here. He doesn't want to get too close into range of the uh, the Arcane Tower because he doesn't want to lose all his mana. So it looks like he's managed to, the Forest Reprisal to walk back a little bit and try to regroup himself and say, okay, what am I doing over here? I'm losing units and I can't afford to. I've run out of gold by now. Or I'm down to 80 gold in my gold mine. Lucifer is down to a little over 1,000. Uh, if Lucifer can manage to hold this back off, hold this off and can manage to pick off the rest of these rifles he's going to be in a really good position his hero levels are getting very high he's almost level five on his lich if he manages to pick that off he might be able to hit level five and he gets level five which is incredibly incredibly important play uh getting level five that means his lich is the highest level hero in the game at the moment very important very important he's going to be able to use because uh, so far he's just relying on the nukes that he has to pick off these units to kill these units there are uh, still only two three priests in play and if you can just manage to kill those He'll be in really good shape. We do see, however, uh, a bunch of peasants, and he's like, you know, what? I need to get to that gold mine, but they can't really do anything because uh, that gold mine isn't crept out. Actually, it looks like they can. <laughs> I guess they can mine during the night. <laughs> All right. Um, so any gold that will help. He's got another priest on the way down, so that's gonna be four. Um, we're seeing an unsummon on the, the altar. He's like, I can't afford to lose the hero. If I do lose the hero at this point, it's game over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the altar. Get some extra resources going on. Uh, he doesn't have enough wood right now. I think he might have lost his ghoul, and it looks like he did, so he has no way to re get the ghoul back. He doesn't have enough wood to summon a crypt, and even if he did, that would be pretty wasteful at this point. Uh, so there's going to be no more no more real use for the slaughterhouse unless he manages to unsummon something else. And he doesn't have wood, so he can't repair anymore unless he manages to unsummon something else with that cost wood. So this is quite an interesting predicament. I don't know what he's going to intend to do here. He might go ahead and try to unsummon some more of these cigarettes and say, I'm not going to try to make any more... Uh, units. I'm just going to try to focus on items, repairing, and keeping my, my last little bit of base life. The Archmage takes quite a bit of damage, but he does still have a healing potion. He's trying to avoid using it because there are priests, but he had to use it anyway. Uh, so the, the Arcane Tower is almost dead. If that Arcane Tower goes down, it's going to be quite good for Lucifer because then he won't be getting a lot of that mana burn happening. Um, he's trying. He's doing his best right now. He's just picking off heroes where he, or picking off units where he can focusing on heroes he's not really been able to do too much in quite some time however but he has been able to cost quite a bit of money looks like he's going to go try to pick off yet another rifleman he really needs to finish off this uh, arcane tower it's only like one or two hits away from dying and if he gets that like he's just losing so much mana from it uh, uh yeah so the, uh, the rifleman goes down and i don't think he's gonna be able, a reprisal can really manage this i think if he doesn't notice this he's going to end up losing a lot of peasants to those creeps right there Lucifer has just brought all of his pet, all of his acolytes to this black citadel to repair it. Uh, level five goes down on the archmage. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna go ahead and pick off these peasants, the acolytes that are repairing while while I can. Uh, another rifleman almost goes down, but gets priest still just in the nick of time. That arcane tower is still up. I don't know how. The naga barely almost died, barely lived to use the helling potion as he got noil coil nova. Uh, and he's still taking damage. He's slowed, but he's just gonna—he's gonna manage to walk away in time. Uh, a rifleman looks like it might go down. It might not. It's at 41 life. It's slowly losing life, but uh, the priest is keeping it alive. Uh, the archmage is goes down. The archmage goes down, and the death knight taking quite a bit of focus, but the healing potion goes off, and he stays alive. Uh, quite intense. Um, another rifleman, very very low. It's, I think it's someone that was low the whole time. He's just had a priest on him. Uh, this could actually spell good game for a reprisal, despite being in quite an advantage position the entire game. I'm not sure he's going to come back from this. Can he afford to rebuy his Archimedes? He doesn't have enough money, and he can't go. He can't actually get any more money from this uh, gold mine during the day. So he's going to have to wait until night, and I don't think he's going to be able to hold off that long. The Arcane Tower goes down. Lucifer still has two statues up, and he still has a level four, almost level five Death Knight, and a level five Lich, which is on his way to level six. That Naga is only level 4, and the Death Knight hits level 5, and as you know, this game match is all about hero levels, so another Rifleman to go down. Uh, there's only 
Only one Rifleman left the Naga and three Priests. I think this is it. I think Lucifer managed to hold off this amazing push by Reprisal. So really well played by both. I'm not... I, I don't see how any possible way that Lucifer could lose this game. His Lich has quite a bit of mana. He has enough mana for a coil. And I think that we might just watch the uh, Naga go down right here to a Coil Nova Focus Fire. Uh, he does still have a Healing Potion. He's trying to kill that uh, the, the, the Death Knight if he could manage that. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to because he's going to have to run away. Taking quite a bit of damage. He used the Healing Potion just in the nick of time as a Nova went off. But, um... I, I, I don't think that this... I think... I, yeah, I think this is it. The, the Naga is attempting to do some more damage to that Death Knight. But as soon as he ran into a precarious position, Lucifer went ahead and went for him. And we do see a bunch of Militia coming in. And actually that, if he had managed to hold off just until then, he might have been able to surround and kill something. And actually, if he manages to surround and kill a hero here, I think he could potentially... Uh, yeah, yeah, he wasn't gonna win that. Okay, uh, that was a great game. That was amazingly well played by both players, as usual. I mean, that was amazing. I was on the edge of my seat for quite some of that game. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching Reprisal and Lucifer. Uh, you know, so yeah, GG.